One of the key predictions we have is around the, the demand for security as a service and security services in the Asia Pacific markets moving forward. Could you tell me a little bit about what RSA is doing to, well, first of all, if you agree with me that with that, and what you're doing to enable that market? Well, we definitely agree with you. In fact, 100%. We have seen a lot of these, uh, what we call the second tier and beyond uh, customers, not even SMB, second tier enterprises that have challenges. One, finding the right people. Two, paying for you know, a security operation to, you know, to address this uh, threats. Mm. So the demand for managed security services is definitely there. And that's part of the RSA strategy, which is to be partner first. Mm -hmm. which means we believe that we need to go to look for these managed security uh, services provider in every country, people that understands the culture, the language, as well as the landscape. And for someone that the customers can call locally and to be on site to help them. Mm -hmm. So we have engineered our technologies to be MSS friendly, as well as we are programmed to help these MSS uh, partners be successful in terms of not just providing technology, but as well as the enablement, as well as their on, ongoing support. Okay, so what you're saying is that RSA is enabling not just <coughs> the ability to procure the, the, the solutions on-premise, but also to facilitate an, an off-premise and an as-a-service yes. environment as well. In fact, it, uh, our, our solutions are designed to be flexible. So for the really small customers, they can be totally off-prem or in the cloud. Mm -hmm. You know, for a mid-sized organization, it can be 50-50. That means some solutions on cloud, some uh, local presence, or in case of a very large organization, everything local, mm -hmm. but to be managed remote. Okay. So we have that flexibility. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, the, other, the other thing is we're seeing this change in the kinds of architectures. We talked about, you know, um, we've traditionally managed the, the, the perimeter, um, which hasn't been very, very useful because the bad guys are already inside the perimeter. We've been moving to a defense in depth, which at least understands that their perimeter has been broached. But uh, we're forecasting and predicting are more around traces and tethers. Uh, is this something that uh, RSA would subscribe to as well? Well, I think if you look at most security technologies, they were designed based on the second platform. Mm. They're based on parameters, they're based on gateways, they're based on signatures, which doesn't translate so well to the third platform. Mm -hmm. So as the organizations move to it, but we can't just snap our fingers Quite. and you know, appear in the third platform. So there exists a, a transitional stage, let's call it uh, platform 2.5, mm -hmm. where you know, we need to span the second platform technologies, you know, through teeters and pivots into the cloud, but mm -hmm. while they are moving towards uh, the third platform mm -hmm. native technologies. So we believe there's going to be a, a hybrid. So if you look at, for example, in terms of the security operations, mm -hmm. there's probably going to be, be a teetered uh, approach, part on-prem and part cloud. Mm -hmm. But as we move towards like the authentication space, mm -hmm. it's likely to be having a lot of it into the cloud. Sure. Sure. So, so you're able to actually help organizations because we've said, you know, first, second platform is going to be living, you know, in coexistence with third platform for a time to come. And the requirements are very, very different. But you're able to span that breadth of the different types of platforms to help people become a fully uh, cloud enabled organization and secure in the future. We have to, else they're going to have problems moving uh, towards the platform and they can't discard away the existing investment, the legacy systems. So today, I would say in the near future, the next three to five years, it's going to be very challenging because most organizations will have to tackle the challenges for, of both, you know, all three platforms, first, second, and third. Very true. Very true. Thank you. You're most welcome.